Hey, St. Joseph, it's me, Father Scott Wallish, your new pastor. I want to send videos to you each week through Flock Notes. And usually we will be producing those videos here at St. Joseph. But every once in a while, we'll throw in a video from someone, say, like Father Mike Schmitz. Because, let's be honest, this is not Father Mike Schmitz. Sometimes we'll be preparing you for the weekend by talking about the readings that will be proclaimed on Sunday. But every once in a while, maybe once a month, I want to give you a public service announcement, just a way that you can better engage the liturgy. Now you might be saying, Father Scott, why are you in a kitchen? It's a great question. Every once in a while I run across people who say like they don't get anything out of Mass, or the Mass really doesn't have a, a flavor for them. And so I say, well, maybe you need to flavor the Mass yourself. You need to bring salt to Mass. Now, I know what you're thinking. Father Scott, first you do a vanilla ice wrap, and now you're talking about salt. Do you only think about food? And the answer is yes. But look, you need to bring salt to Mass. Here's what I mean. At the beginning of Mass, the priest says, let us call to mind our sins. And then there's a little pause, and then we do the Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. It's the penitential rite. Well, it's kind of hard to be penitential if we're not ready to tell God what our sins are. And so before you even come to Mass, you need to think of your sins. Yes. Now, after the readings and the homily, which may or may not put you to sleep. Then we profess the creed. And then we bring our intentions, the things that we want to ask for. Well, certainly the, the lector or the deacon get to the ambo and they proclaim the petitions that we have written for the weekend. But you should be coming with your own, the things that you want to ask the Lord for. Maybe it's something for your family, or for your friends, or for the world. And so, before you begin each Mass, you should know what you want to ask for, A. L. As we're preparing the altar, the basket's going around to collect everyone's offerings, and then the bread and wine are brought forward. The bread and wine are a representation of what we bring to the Lord whether it's money or service. But regardless of what it is, it's an offering of love to God. And so before Mass starts, you should think of what love you have committed for the Lord since the last time you went to Mass. And then, when we bring our gifts forward, you can, with your mind, place that love on the altar. L. T. What does Eucharist mean? Thanksgiving. And ultimately, that's what every Mass is about. To come and thank God and praise Him for His goodness. Well, with each Mass, you should have something that you're thankful for. That you want to thank Him for putting in your life. And so, T, before Mass, come with some thanks. So, if you bring salt to every Mass, your sins, what you want to ask for, the ways you've loved since the last time you went to Mass, and what you're thankful for, I guarantee you, Mass is going to have more flavor for you. We'll see you this weekend.